Daniel Horrible Lot. This week on Burnt Wolf Airsoft, I'm going to be taking a look at the L85 A2 by ICS. At first glance, it's a pretty damn convincing replica of the UK assault rifle. And so it should be. It's made from heavyweight stamp steel with ABS foregrips and add on parts just like the real deal. But it's not just in looks that this is authentic. Oh no, the chaps at ICS who made this managed to work in nearly as many faults as the real steel. Marvelous stuff. There's still a functional riff in amongst it all though. Solidly built from almost all metal, the L85A2 weighs in at a meaty 4 kilograms. With the standard green plastic foregrip installed, the whole thing's a little bit back heavy, even for a bullpup. The owners installed a Daniel Defense wrist rail system to counter this. The extra weight helps balance the gun. However, it's no cheap fix as these go for around 150 quid. Sorry chaps, the holographic sight's not included. It comes with the standard carry handle iron sights. Measuring in at 77 centimeters, the L85A2 is a fairly long riff. However, its compact bullpup design negates a lot of its length. It comes with two 300 round high cap mags, which is rather nice. And these are M4 mag compatible, so you shouldn't have a problem getting spares. However, it is a bit of a picky bugger when it comes to mags and only seems to like M4 mags with these dimples on them. So uh, watch out for that. It comes LiPo ready and takes a 7.4 LiPo battery to power it. Sadly, this isn't included, which goes under an easy access hatch on the front of the foregrip. It's the same on the original as on the Daniel rail. And it has the standard safe, semi and full auto firing modes we've become accustomed to. Now getting to the internals, this rift's not even six months old at the moment and the owner reports that the motor and the wire from the trigger have already gone and had to be replaced. Now normally you could write this off to pure bad luck. However, I've spoken to three people who have owned this gun and they've all had similar issues, especially with the motor. So it seems like an ongoing fault or maybe a bad batch that was released. Expect to pay about £50 to get these all fixed by a gun technician. The L85A2 has three spring settings. Set on the highest setting, it shoots at a slightly hot 356 FPS on 0.2 gram BBs. Not too concerned about this though, as the two lower settings would make this safe for use. This is easy to achieve via removing a few push bends, and the whole process takes about five minutes. Finally though, something fairly decent to report, it does shoot like a dream. Even outdoors on a windy day using a park covered pink plate. Costing £360 a stock, it would be well worth the money if it wasn't a few issues. But costing around £500 of all the extra work, I'd say that for most people it's starting to get a bit on the expensive side. If you're set on getting a UK loadout and are competent working on airsoft guns and don't mind spending that bit extra, I'd say go for it. It's a great gun when it's all done. If you're not, however, I'd say to leave this well alone and take a look elsewhere. And that's my look at the L85A2 by ICS. Big thanks goes to Radic for lending me his riff and providing the user feedback to make this review. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips, tricks, reviews and how-tos. Anyway, back to whatever you were doing. That is...